In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a wild hipster badge. So hi guys and welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this simple hipster badge here with again the horns here and a triangle, a few fonts. Yeah, and let's get right into it. First of all what I'm going to do is go up here to File, New and create right away a new canvas. So I'm going to write here hipster, maybe two or something and we're going to use that as our second canvas now. Now as well I'm going to use a preset again, 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. So this is again the width set for my screen recorder so this works perfectly fine for my canvas. But you guys are welcome to use any size that you want. Now as well resolution 300 and pretty much the standard settings here for just RGB color and everything that I get from Photoshop. I'm going to hit OK and directly we have a new canvas. Great! So as you guys can see, our background layer is still locked. I'm going to double click on that and just write maybe here background. So that's our first layer now again. Let's maybe just put that L away. OK. Background. Now right away, I'm going to give that a beige color. So again, I'm going to go here to the marking tool. Just select all and hit right click here and fill this up with just a beige color. Let's select color under the content area. And again, I've already got this selected, so it's somewhere over here, if you go all the way down between yellow and like a reddish color, you can find it somewhere over here. You guys can also get all the numbers down here. I'm like just choosing something that I really see here that I like. Maybe a little bit lighter, like so. Okay, and okay, and directly we have a beige color in the background. Looks nice. A little bit of like off-white yellowish. Okay, I'm going to press Command D, get out of the selection as well. I'm working with a Mac. If you are a Windows user, you can use Control when I say Command. All right, I'm also going to press F, just get out of the full screen mode here and quickly move this old. Okay, this is something else. I'm going to move this away for the start. We don't need that. I'm just going to work straight away just with our hipster badge here. Once we get to the horns, I can show you and talk more about this. But for the moment, let's continue here with our background. I'm going to press F again to get out of the full screen mode here or into the full screen mode. We're not distracted by the background. As well, I'm going to create two help guides here just in the center point. So I'm going to go back to my actions here. I also talked about that in a previous tutorial. Going to select my actions and just the guidelines and we already have a nice center point here. All right, great. So for the next set that I want to do, I want to obviously create now a nice triangle in here. So I think I'm going to go back to view and just go to new guide again and basically place a horizontal guide somewhere around 80% down here somewhere. So basically it starts from zero and it goes all the way down to 100%. So somewhere at 80% down here, I wanna place a line. So basically I'm gonna write here 80 and give it a percentage sign, basically meaning 80%. Okay, great, so directly we have our line down here. Now as well, I need two more lines for left and right here. So we can also obviously create a nice shape here with our path tool in a minute. So again, I'm going to go up to view, new guide once again, and this time I'm going to choose vertical, and I'm going to choose something like 30% again. Okay, and directly we have our new line over here. I'm going to go back to view once again, new guide again, vertical again, and choose 70, exactly the opposite. Okay, and then we have a new line over there. So again, now I need to just take maybe from the top here a new line down and determine where I want to put this. So again, maybe over here, yeah, like another 20% or something. And this is where my triangle will be. From here all the way down to here and up again. Okay, so let's also do that. I'm going to create a new layer and just also write here triangle. Okay. And again, now take P for the pen tool. And literally just put an anchor point over here. So a dot over there, anchor point, another one, another one. And going and combining that again. And directly we have a really nice triangle. All right, so now I'm going to hit right click and say fill this path. So again, fill path. Under the contents area, we're going to choose a color here. This time, actually, like you guys can see already, I want like a little bit of a gray, darker gray, a little bit into the blues as well. So taking this up a little bit, I'm obviously having a look here. And yeah, maybe something a little bit darker, richer. Okay, great. You guys can also get the values here again. I'm going to hit OK again. OK over here as well. And directly we have our nice shape here, our triangle. All right. I'm going to press Command Shift H together. So I'm just hiding all these outlines here from that new layer, from our pen tool, basically the path. I'm going to press V for move tool and just literally move this up a little bit. 
Okay, so somewhere over here. Now I can actually just take these old guidelines here, just literally tag them and drag them all the way out, like so. Okay, so they rid, and I don't need them anymore. I just want the focal center point here. Okay, so for the next step, what I want to do now is create like a little bit of a small hill in here and kind of start working in the center point of this logo. So again, I want to create a new layer. Literally zoom in a little bit closer over here. Take the pen tool again, and also guys, if you're not familiar with the pen tool, have a look on our channel. We've created a tutorial there teaching you guys how to work with the pen tool into depth. All right, so literally on this here, and maybe we can just rename this to mountain. Okay, and I'm basically going to just put an anchor point over here. Well, let's, I'm going to press double escape and just put start actually over here. Put another one over here. And this is totally freestyle now. I'm just going to go roughly like this, this, this one again, and another one down. Maybe even I'm going to go step back. So literally just take the last anchor point. And again, this anchor point I want to make actually a little bit higher. So I'm going to go over here, here. Maybe again a little bit down, something like that. Okay, great. And that's supposed to be my little freestyle mountains over here. So you guys can also do this. It's obviously a little bit of a creative approach. All right, so next step, I want to press right click and fill this path again. So say fill path, and now this time again, color. And I'm going to choose again the background color, the beige over here. So again, go with the color picker over here, just select that. Hit OK, OK, and directly again we have our mountains here filled. Okay, pressing Command H, Shift, so just hiding those outlines there. And again, first of all, I'm going to take the mountains here, also the Move tool, and just move them up a little bit. Somewhere over here, maybe. We can also still make them smaller, move them around. That we're going to do once we are ready with all our font and everything. All right, so for the next step again, what I want to do is also add some horns here into this design. So again, I'm going to press F and I went online and found some pretty cool horns here from Shutterstock. Um, and obviously this is copyrighted to Shutterstock, so I can't just take them in and use that. I need to replicate this somehow. So what I normally do is I take an image from the web, drag it all the way in into my Photoshop file here. Then I can also close this. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to press F. If you guys want to know more, also in the description, I've listed all the links to these horns. Okay, so for the first start, what I'm going to do is turn off the blending options here. So, or well not turn it off, I'm just going to change it to darken. So that basically means everything that is white will disappear and everything that is black will still be visible on that layer. Okay, I'm going to press move tool again, move that a little bit around. First of all, I'm going to press command T in order to now transform it and also to rotate this a little bit. I'm actually going to go over here and rotate this a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to hold shift now and take this anchor point on the right hand side so it's equally expanding. Just make this nice and big, okay, something like that. And I'm still having a look here where I want to place them. Maybe I can make it even more bigger. Okay, something like this looks actually pretty cool. Yeah, and I can rotate that a little bit more if I want to or kind of leave that into this position. Maybe a little bit more down. Okay, I'm going to accept this. And the rest we don't need, actually. I'm not looking at these other horns here. I'm just ho looking at this one horn. Okay, so next step, I'm going to go and create a new layer again. I'm basically going to press Z to zoom in a little bit closer. And I'm going to go really close in, actually. Now I'm going to take the pen tool again, and I'm just going to go and create a path all around this horn. Because as you guys can see at the moment, it's pretty low quality as well. The edges are feathered completely, and it doesn't look good at all. And obviously copyrighted to stock shut the stock. So I need to, yeah, just rebuild this. Again, I'm going to go over in here and just start building with the pen tool, a few anchor points, just keep on holding the pen tool. Now also guys, if you're not familiar with the pen tool, please have a look at our tutorial where I'm going to explain you guys into detail how to work with the pen tool. So literally, I'm just going to go around here and also hold shift again from this little guy here, basically holding alt, moving that a little bit in. And then I'm just going to go around here, a little bit more. So we're basically going to cover all of this. I'm going to make a longer path over here. Okay, and as well hold Alt, take this guy down again because it's obviously we don't want the next path to go into this direction. We want the direction to go down. Okay, over here. Then I'm going to create another one over here. Keep on holding the mouse and just drag this out a little bit. Okay, next one at the top again. 
like so, creating a nice shape. Again, hold Alt, take this guy at the top here, the little point, move it all the way down. And literally, this time I'm going to go a little bit further down, actually, to somewhere over here. Okay, keep on holding that mouse. Okay, and now I'm going to drag this point again in here, just with Alt, all the way back to here. Yeah, and you guys kind of get the point now. So let's just continue with this. Going to go all the way down. Okay, hold spacebar, move around in my canvas here. I'm just going to go a little bit further out. Again, hold Alt, move this guy around. So the next path goes into this direction. Again, I'm going to make a longer path. Okay, and if I do mistake, like for instance, like now, I can just basically hold Command and also move this point again a little bit up and down, left and right, whatever I want to do. So I'm going to move mine up just a little bit. Okay, hold Alt, take this point, move it back, and we can continue. Okay, this guy in. We're going to create a nice point over here. Literally drag this out. Okay, this guy down, and again continue with the next step. Okay, this one down. I'm going to create a longer path now. Okay, hold spacebar, move around in your canvas again. Moving this guy in, and again over here. Literally take this down. Okay, hold space here, or basically Alt, taking an anchor point there. Now again, for the last stretch, Alt, this guy down. And again, all the way around, we're going to create a really nice round shape. Hold Alt, move this guy in. Okay, a little bit more, and there we are done, almost. Okay, so literally last anchor points here, just combining all. And we have now created a really nice path around the whole horn here. Okay, so for the next step, lastly, what we're going to do is again, just take here the pen tool with P, and as well on this new layer, I'm gonna hit right click here and fill this up. So just right click, fill path over here with the same color as we have here from our triangle. So again, select the triangle, okay, and okay. And then we have a really nice shape now. So now I can just go out of the pen tool with double escape. As you guys can see, we already have a really nice shape here and that looks pretty good. Okay, last step that I'm still going to do is take this layer one from our horns, just delete that. We don't need that anymore. Cool, so now I can have layer two, which is basically now horns. I'm just going to rename that horns. And you can press move tool and move that obviously up and down. You can rotate this and do whatever you want to do with it. I'm gonna place mine there. Now I'm going to press Command J to duplicate this layer and also go over to Edit here, Transform and Flip Horizontally. Great, so now I'm just going to move it all the way over, somewhere over here. Yeah, that looks pretty much the same as we have over here. Great, so that's already the next step. Now lastly what we're still going to do is to press again T for the Text Type tool. We're going to write in Hipster. So again H PSD, okay, hipster in capital letters, and as well, it has already the right font. So I've chosen to go with a font today which is called LT o Oksana or something. I'll also put that in the description for you down below. All right, so let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm actually going to make it like a 20 pixels over here, right in 20 pixels, accept that, and I'm going to move that up a little bit somewhere here over the center point. Again, I'm going to use the cursors left and right to place this somewhere. Like so, okay, great. And I'm basically going to start now with the next font down here. Just again, the text tool. I'm going to write here style. Okay, also in capital letters. You guys can see that at the moment. It's too big. So I'm literally going to take it a little bit down. And again, I'm going to work here with a font called Helfitger Neue. Where is that guy? It's somewhere over here under H. Let's go a little bit up. There we have it. Okay. And again, it's also in the description down below if you want to find that. There's also a lot more on dafont.com. Okay, this time I'm going to say ultra light again, so it's really nice and thin. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller, maybe half the size. Okay, but this time under the character box here again, our tracking, we're going to move that all the way out. So literally a little bit more. So it's half the spacing of the hipster word. I'm going to accept that press the move tool and literally just move it a little bit closer. So I just want to see how far is that spaced against the hipster font. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit down. Great, like so. Move it into the center. Yeah, and lastly, I'm going to create a new layer again. 
also just take another help line down. So this is going to be our new center point here. Again, pen tool for P. And literally I'm going to put just like a dot over here, an anchor point, and another one somewhere over here. So I'm kind of having a look at the spacing here. Press right click and say stroke path. Again, please choose pencil and as well the same foreground color as we have from our background here, the peach. Okay, I'm going to say OK that. OK. And we already have a path there and a really nice thin line. I first of all just have to go to view, say clear guides here, and you guys can see the path over here. I'm just going to press double escape. This takes us out of the pen tool mode. I can also zoom in a little bit closer. And now what I want to do is just erase again a certain piece here. So again, I'm going to press M for marking tool. Also, please choose rectangular marking tool. Okay, and I'm literally just going to create a rough selection around here. So now again, I'm just having a look here at this little small gap and this little gap. They're almost the same. I'm going to hit delete, command D, get out of the selection. Zoom out a little bit to see if it feels right. If you guys want to, you can also create some help lines here from left and right. So you have like the real and the right positions for your lines and also the right length here. I'm a little bit too lazy to do that now. Okay, again, style, I'm just moving that a little bit. Yeah, and that looks all good so far. But I kind of think that this whole uh, logo is still, or the badge is still missing like a little small touch here. So what I want to do is go back to triangle again. And I actually showed this also in a previous tutorial. I'm going to double click on here and get into the layer styles. So under layer styles, I'm going to choose stroke. And as you guys can see, we already have a black stroke around here. I want to switch that first of all to the inside. So it's just going in the inside of our badge. Then as well, I'm going to choose maybe like a six pixel. So it's a little bit wider and as well, not black, please. Let's double click here onto the color and we're going to pick again the background color. Okay and okay and you can't literally see it now because it's obviously the same as the background color so next step we're going to do is just duplicate the triangle layer so command J and also let's make this a little bit bigger here so we have more space I'm going to take triangle now turn that off first of all the effect move it all the way down also say right click here rasterize that layer so it's just a normal layer again press command T and just make it a little bit bigger so again going to take an anchor point hold shift and make this a little bit like say a little bit wider okay move tool again with the V and just literally with the cursors left and now down a little bit a little bit more to the left okay and I think I can be a little bit bigger so again command T hold shift again take the anchor point literally like a small notch okay accept that via enter V tool and we're literally just going to drag that down a little bit Great, okay, so that looks really cool already and it gives it a nice little touch again. Lastly, we can just take the hipster layer here and the mountains and move that down a little bit. So I'm going to take the mountain layer here and hipster, hold shift, select both of them, okay, and also going to move that down just a little bit here with my cursors. Great, okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, see if it's balanced right, if it feels right, if it looks great. Yeah, and so far I'm pretty happy with this. Now again, what I can do is just take all of my layers here again, the working layers, press Command G, and just write here again, logo or badge, whatever you want to. Great, so that's all from our logo here. If you don't like this little gap here as well, you can obviously just take the horns here and move them all the way down so they are underneath of our triangle with the effect. So then again, it looks a little bit different as well. But I kind of like them more if they are on top of that. So it gives and breaks this a little bit again. All right, yeah, so that's also all for the tutorial. Don't forget to watch out uh, for our other tutorials where we're teaching you guys how to work with a pen tool, some fonts, and also some tips and tricks about the tools. Yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to hit up with a thumbs up there. Then share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again to you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.